Let's um let's rank the teams. This should be very quick. So, number mm -hmm. one, I'm going with the Houston Texans. Pretty easy. We, you know, they're, they're the best team. They had the best roster. They had the best QB. They had the best coaching staff with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. Number two, I'm gonna go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I just think that they're also too talented. I like Trevor Lawrence. I like the additions of Brian Thomas Jr. and Gabe Davis and also Mitch Morris from, from the Buffalo Bills. I like that addition that'll, that'll help the offensive line. They also brought, brought in the defensive coordinator from the Atlanta Falcons. He was really good last year for the Atlanta Falcons and Ryan Nielsen. So I like a lot of the moves that they made. It's just about this year, how, how are they going to scheme around the, the very mediocre to pretty bad offensive line? They have another year with Press Taylor. I think they'll figure out a way to get Trevor Lawrence to deliver the football out of his hands a lot quicker. Then number three, I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts. I just think there's, there's still a question mark with Anthony Richardson. How good is he offensively? I do like the receivers with A.D. Mitchell, with Josh Downs, and then you, you still have Michael Pippen. You you brought you know Jonathan Taylor still there. He's still he's coming back from he came back from I think it was injury last year, but now he's or was it injury? I think it was an injury. Yeah, something like that. And he's going to be fresh. He's going to be rejuvenated. He also got paid, so that's good. Shane Steichen, we already know he's one of the better offensive minds in the NFL. Defensively, I'm not really too comfortable with it, but I think they'll be middle of the pack. They're number three, and then number four is the Tennessee Titans. I understand that they. They signed a lot of dudes in free agency. They brought in a lot of quality talent. They brought in Calvin Ridley. They still have DeAndre Hopkins. But I'm still not all the way there with Will Levis. Tony Pollard, is he, is he still good enough? Was that just the Cowboys scheme? I don't know. Brian Callahan, I think he's a quality offensive mind. But you're going from Joe Burrow to Will Levis. Completely different playing styles. I have the Titans at four. What about you? You could not have put that any better than I could. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much in the same boat. I'm, I got the Texans one. They just have the better roster, like you said, the better coaching staff, the better, the best QB in the division, and top two defense in the division more than likely. Um, and then on the number two, I'm going to go Jacksonville. They have a pretty solid roster. It just depends on Trevor Lawrence and how he performs and if the defense can maintain – success throughout the entire year and not falter off midway through the season like last year. Then I'm going to go with the Colts at three. Anthony Richardson, how will he progress? Yeah. How is the offense going to look? What is the scheme going to be like? Jonathan Taylor, is he going to be healthy for the full year? I, I know Josh Downs is actually hurt. I don't know how long the injury timeline is, but yeah, the defense, like you said, is probably going to be so-so. Ben, but don't break probably. And mm -hmm. then the fourth place, I'm going to put the Titans. Don't know about Will Levis. Will Levis, exactly. It's going to be year two for him, though. Yeah. D-Hop is hurt, but they got Calvin Ridley. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Titans, Jags, Colts, Titans. Wait, no. Yeah. Texans. Texans, yeah, yeah. Jags, Colts, Titans. Yeah. 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 Just let me be me.